the safe flight of Deakin Gamaliel on Nosody OFR to the great beyond at the age of 82 years is a celebration of life and times of absolute accomplishment in every respect. Reasons there was a subtle competition from different groups, religious, corporate and social, to give the late Deacon, Dr. Gamaliel Onosadi, a most befitting farewell celebration. In the program of funeral events to celebrate him were those of the corporate Nigeria, Nigerian Institute of Management, NIM, his own Baptist church denomination, and each recorded a good attendance of people from all works of life in the land. A chief of an old block, Dr. Deakin Gamaliel Onosadi lived an untainted Christian lifestyle, having learned so much from his own father, a Baptist minister too. No wonder he was able to set himself apart for excellence and later became a figure so recognized everywhere he served. The young Gamaliel had his primary and secondary school education in Ugeli in Wari in Delta State. He gained admission to the University College Ibadan, which was then University College London. Gamaliel Onosadi successfully completed his education in 1957 and thereafter, as a fresh graduate, he got an employment with Colonial Development Corporation, CDC, in London. On his return home, he served in other capacities with the CDC. Deakin Onosadi also worked in various capacities at the Investment Company of Nigeria Limited, now Nigerian Industrial Development Bank Limited, NIDB. It was his special interest in investment savings that brought him to the saddle as one of the first Nigerian executive directors on the board of NIDB. His stint in the banking sector brought about some positive impacts in the sector. Dr. Deakin Gamaliel Onosadi laid a solid foundation in the Nigerian Stock Exchange where he set a template that raised the bar in the trading of stocks of quoted companies on the Nigerian Stock Exchange. He was the first indigenous stock broker at the Stock Exchange and also a pioneer chairman and founder of the Nigerian Stock Brokers Limited. He was the first chairman of the Investors Protection Fund, a position he held again after his reconstitution. He held various positions in the security exchange market. Gamaliel Onosodi was also chairman of various quoted companies like Cadbury Nigeria PLC, CFAO, Dunlop, Celtel, Air Liquid, Chartered Institute of Stockbrokers, NIM, and so on. He served as Presidential Advisor on Budget Affairs and Director of Budget under the Shehu Shagari administration in 1983. Dr. Gamaliel Onosodi was also the Chairman of Liquefied Natural Gas, LNG, Working Committee. After the creation of Nigeria LNG Limited, he became its pioneer chairman in June 1989. Dr. Nosode served as pro chancellor of many universities like University of Uyo, Lagos, Bowen, Ibadan, and a member of council at Adobayero University, Kano, respectively. Dr. Nosode's life of service had earned him a well deserved national honor of Officer of the Federal Republic in the year 2000 and a lot more of awards in business, academics, theology, and the likes. It was generally agreed that Deakin Gamaliel Onosodi was an embodiment of a multiple of principles, a man of total commitment to the service of God and man. Gamaliel Onosodi, no doubt, will be missed by everyone from the academic circle, business, government, corporate world, and of course, Christendom. At the service of songs and tributes for late Deacon Gamaliel Onosadi, it was prayers and songs galore for the deceased. The event was organized by corporate Nigerian. Tributes were paid in honor of the deceased. Otumba, Mrs. Debola Oshibogun, president of the Institute of Chartered Bankers, led the session. She described the late Onosode as God's reward to the various areas 
where he left indelible marks behind. Mrs. Oshibogu remarked on the sterling qualities of the late Onosade and his leadership of over 30 companies in Nigeria. In all of these, the Delta State-born late Onosade had an absolutely accomplished and remarkable background in his civil and corporate service years, which earned him very high respect among his contemporaries and juniors alike. We all gather here today in loving memory and in honor of Gamaliel, a man who by his name alone marked him out as God's reward. We are here today to celebrate the life and time of a man who had the celebration of his, of his biblical age of 70, described himself as the marvel of God's grace. He was indeed a man of integrity in all aspects of businesses and religious matters. Onosoge commanded a high level of respect everywhere, even in the corporate board, boardroom and at public functions. The session of tributes had Mrs. Mary Rhodes from the Nigerian Security and Exchange Commission NSEC who gave a goodwill message of the commission. She gave her goodwill message of the commission in honor of the late Onosade and family. He was a fine gentleman who was greatly admired and commanded respect whenever he was around. He was articulate and well-spoken, humble, honest, a dedicated professional who stood for good service. He said what he meant and meant what he said never compromising. He had a good sense of humor, which he stylishly interjected in his speeches and through injury special or informal discussions. Deacon, almost a day, has not died. What he stood for is alive. And, it's, and many of my colleagues describe the same thing I have described. So that while grieving that you lost the patriarch, I think you should be happy and proud for what he did, for the lives he touched, for the careers he helped mold, and the standards that he set. Let's just agree that we lost the gentleman and the scholar. So for the family, I wish you, I wish you have the strength to, to bear this irreparable loss. The Vice Chancellor of the University of Lagos, Professor Raman Bello, gave his tributes to his mentor. In it, he praised Deacon Gamaliel Onosadi for his life of tested and proven service to the University of Lagos from 2009 to 2013. And during this period, he was noted for a number of achievements. One of such was his instrumentality in the brokerage of a far-reaching peace accord between the labor unions and the university management. We at the University of Lagos today, as always, express our immense appreciation to the family of our Deacon Anasode, Maklame, Mrs. Anasode, for the time they spent with us and for which he donated all his entire sitting allowance to the development of our Jubilee Park. Through the family provided him the support to thrive, serve and contribute as quota to the development of many sectors within Nigeria. The son of late Onosode, Essay Onosode, spoke on behalf of the family. While a member of the investment banking sector, Mr. Tola Mobolori's vote of thanks brought the service of songs to a close. With the Hallelujah Chorus, it was a befitting way to end the event. Day 2 of funeral rites for Deakin Onosode was a day of tributes from members of the Nigerian Institute of Management NIM, in Lagos. For the records, Dr. Gamaliel Onosode had a very good stint at the NIM as the fifth president and chairman of council in 1979. In the years preceding his emergence as president, Dr. Gamaliel Onosode had served in various capacities at the NIM. The NIM version of celebration of life and times of Dr. Onosode was most deserving. It had the likes of Dr. Christopher Kolade, Dr. Michael Omolayoli, and a host of others. Dr. Christopher Kolade was the first to hit the stage with his goodwill exhortation in honor of the deceased. We are grateful that he was here. We had the opportunity of learning 
things from it. You know, in that passage where Jesus Christ talked about salt and that, he gave us an injunction. He said, so, let your light so shine. <laughs> let your light shine in such a way that people will see your good works. In like manner, a past president of NIM, Dr. Michael Omalayoli, FNIM, and Deputy President of NIM, Dr. Nelson Uwaga, MNI, FNIM, did their beats accordingly with their long standing relationship with the deceased. They gave kudos to his passion for excellence and outstanding qualities. Dr. Nosodei's unyielding stands for excellent managerial leadership, they all agreed, set him ahead of the rest in all the areas where he worked. It was a gem of the purest type. It was a flower of the most colorful, most beautiful, and of most desired fragrance. It was a pure gem and fragrant flower to humanity, to Nigerian nation, to the University of Ibadan community, to the Christian community, to the business community, and last but not the least, to the Nigerian Institute of Management. To Nigerians with honesty, integrity, accountability, equity, efficiency, and effectiveness, which the NIM shares and practices. May the good Lord comfort and grant the Institute your dear wife, the children, and indeed the entire Anosode family and other loved ones you left behind, the fortitude to bear your irreparable loss. May your soul find solace in the bosom of the Lord. Goodbye, our management group. That session of tributes had a host of others at the event. The vote of thanks was given by the son, Esse Onosode who all relieved his loving memory of his father in and out of active service in the corporate world. Day 3 of funeral rites for Dr. Deacon Gamaliel Onosadi had the church memorial service by the Good News Baptist Church, Surulere, Lagos. The memorial service was high on rendition of special and soul-lifting songs, prayers and tributes. Those present at the church memorial service for Deacon Gamaliel Onosadi were Professor Patutomi and representatives of the Baptist Church, they all gave the Onosode family a huge support. In the words of exhortation delivered, the preacher relieved the eternal legacies of the deceased icon, Dr. Deacon Onosode, in all areas of his endeavor, most especially in the church. Tributes were offered to celebrate the life and times of late Deacon Gamaliel Onosode, especially from his Baptist fellows. Mr. Onosode has, in every respect, been very productive. The friendship that has been elevated, not the basis. We hardly dare with politics, not even when we are youngsters. I can hardly recall our having at the center stage where discussions, topics we knew we would be ashamed of, or feel embarrassed at if we mentioned them to each other. Not that we did not deal with such issues, but we always did from an angle. That was the son of the deceased, Essie Onosode, took time again to give his vote of thanks for the great support received from well wishes and guests. We thank God that even during this long ordeal, he remained positive and he remained unwavering in his faith. We thank God for our pastor, who was a pillar of support, and on behalf of the family. Thank you all and hope to see you uh, tomorrow at the comment.
invitation service. We also hope you can join us in the great city of Ugeli. With the God Me, O Thou Great Redeemer, and another take on the Hallelujah Chorus, the church memorial service for Dr. Deacon Gamaliel Onosade came to a fitting end. Day 4, which had the commendation church service for Dr. Deacon Gamaliel Onosade on Tuesday, 20th October 2015. A more robust attendance was registered at the Ikoyi Baptist Church, Lagos. In attendance were Chief Ernest Shonekon, Professor Wale Shoyinka. The event, which was anchored by Pastor Paul Adiferasi, had more memorable testimonies from the body of clergy, the Baptist Convention, and a cross section of the congregation, all pointing to the fact that Dr. Nosody had successfully impacted a huge lot of lives and oversaw the executing of church projects. Pastor Paul Adiferasi took his turn to give his heartwarming tributes. The life of mutual benefits shared by them saw that Pastor Adiferasi played the role of an intercessor, while Dr. Nosody did that of a teacher, as required of him. With Deacon Onosade, and as profound as his intellect was, he never allowed me to feel drowned by the depth and vastness of his knowledge. And so he gave me courage and allowed me to explore my own thought processes and develop the ability to think and speak. And as time grew and as I grew also, he allowed me to play perhaps a pastoral role in his life. The blood of the cross of Calvary blood of Jesus Christ's cross has anticipated and paid the price completely that we will enjoy constant fellowship with him. And I believe it is this great Christian faith, this great Christian hope that allowed him the boldness to face his life with enormity, his death with courage, so that he finished his course with joy, he kept the faith, and he fought a good fight. He saluted the uncommon courage with which the departed deacon Anosody faced death. With a thought-provoking imagination of what went on at that moment of transition of late deacon Anosody, Pastor De Farasi left the congregation spellbound with his rendition. In the exhortation, the officiating minister instructed everyone to emulate the life of total commitment and fulfillment Dr. Deacon Gamaliel Anosody led in his lifetime. The commendation of service was high on soul-lifting song of renditions and prayers in honor of late Deacon Anosade. Again, his son, Essay Onosade, shared the most memorable experience he had with his father over the years, especially during his days of battle with a health challenge. <laughs> the fifth day of rites of burial for Dr. Deacon Gamaliel Onosade was one when well wishes, friends, and colleagues joined his family members to pay him their last respects. The event, which took place on Wednesday, the 21st of October 2015, at the Good News Baptist Church, Surulere, Lagos, was to serve as a parting gesture to late Deacon Anosode before his remains depart for his place of origin in Ogeli, Delta State of Nigeria. Dignitaries present at the Lion and State event include Mrs. Obi Ezekwesili, Pastor Paul Adiferasi, and a host of others.